Last week, brothers and sisters, we talked about the connection between love of God and love of neighbor. Today's readings speak of God's love. It is impartial, it is self-sacrificing, and it enjoins us to love one another. Let us then reflect on the church, the body of Christ, as a community of love. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI wrote in Deus Caritas Est that love of neighbor, which is grounded in the love of God, is first and foremost our responsibility as individuals and as a community. The encyclical cites the Acts of the Apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common, and they sold their possessions and goods and distributed them to all as any had need. So in the early Christian communities, thanks to the grace of Jesus' resurrection, the love of neighbor is at the heart of being one community. The ideally depicted early Christian community is presented as the model for our communities. Now, is the love of neighbor to be equated to the sharing of goods or almsgiving? The encyclical Deus Caritas Est reminds us of love as the church's deepest nature. This love of neighbor consists in a tripod, the proclamation of the Word of God, the celebration of the sacraments, and the exercise of the ministry of charity. So we ask ourselves, does our charity stop with the mere giving of alms, no matter how good it is? Do we extend charity by sharing the precious Word of God? People need the Word of God as much as they need food. How about us priests? Do we administer the sacraments as our acts of love? We should not forget that all of these are part of love of neighbor as Jesus exemplified. Next, the encyclical also reminds us that the church is God's family in the world. The parable of the Good Samaritan will never become irrelevant. We must love even the people whom we do not know. We witness to them the universality of God's love. We could also keep in mind Paul's words to the Galatians. As we have opportunity, let us do good to all and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Let us start with our own family, our neighborhood, and the rest will follow. We have this beautiful term in Filipino, pananagutan. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. Each of us is responsible for the other. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. So there, brothers and sisters, love of God flows into love of neighbor, and love of neighbor leads us to God. As a church, a community of believers, our love for neighbor includes but goes beyond almsgiving. We share the Word of God. We celebrate the sacraments together. We serve one another. And all of these are possible because we are God's family. And in this family, the encyclical states, no one ought to go without the necessities of life.